Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. We continue our conversation now with 7th District Republican Congressman Leonard Lance. I want to deal with the opioid crisis in the state because uh, I believe, and I think several other people believe, it, it, is the, it is the biggest crisis in New Jersey right now. So much money, state money, federal money, federal attention, state attention has been poured into this problem. And it doesn't seem to be getting any better, especially in New Jersey. Statistics came out recently that showed it's going down in other states, the, the number of overdose deaths going up in New Jersey. What are we missing? What are we not doing? Yeah, we have to work together in a coordinated effort at the federal level and at the state and local efforts. And I want to work with the state government in Trenton on this issue. Uh, I'm on the Committee of Jurisdiction for many of these matters, the Energy and Commerce Committee and the Health Subcommittee. And we've passed out of our committee, and uh, this has passed on the floor of the House, significant legislation bundling together uh, three dozen bills in this area. We've brought more money to New Jersey, at least $13 million more, and I want to continue that effort. And my own component piece is that I'm the sponsor of a piece of legislation, and my co-sponsor is Congressman Joe Kennedy of Massachusetts on uh, the opiate uh, addiction problem as it relates to infectious diseases. That's one bill of many bills that were folded in together and then passed on the floor of the House. And, and so uh, this is a crisis that uh, has been uh, uh, brewing over the course of the last decade or so, and uh, we have to continue our efforts to make sure that we overcome it. Much of the opioid crisis can date back to pharmaceutical companies uh, pushing these these drugs, um, not putting enough restrictions on them, and even falsifying research. Has the federal government done enough in holding them accountable? Uh, we are trying to hold them accountable, and of course there are investigations ongoing, particularly, for example, in the state of West Virginia where there was apparently a complete dumping of, of opiates, and uh, we will continue that. And certainly, uh, they have been overprescribed. And uh, one of the pieces of legislation that came out of our committee and passed on the floor of the House uh, suggested an alternative form of medication when you don't necessarily need the opiate medication. There has been overprescription by the medical community. And, and to give you a, a personal example, I, I've had uh, some uh, work done with regarding wisdom teeth and also uh, regarding uh, work in, in, in dentistry. And sometimes um, uh, there's the suggestion that I might take an opiate. And I've asked the dentist, can I just take uh, uh, a Tylenol or something like that? And quite appropriately, he has said yes. So I think there's been uh, 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 over prescription. And, um, uh, I think maybe it was uh, root canals at my age. I'm not sure it was wisdom teeth, it was root canals. Yeah, there's, there's laws that can prevent overprescription, and there was one recently passed in New Jersey. I, I guess we get into, is there a constitutional problem in that we can't legislate some of this stuff nationally to, to, to limit the number of opioids a, a, a doctor can prescribe or to, or, or to increase or to change the laws so that the, there's, they can force someone into treatment? Is that all local jurisdiction? Uh, no, I think there can be jurisdiction at the federal level. And uh, we have passed legislation regarding our belief that there has been overprescription. But certainly, uh, many of these uh, issues are resolved appropriately at the state level. But I think the federal government can work with state capitals. And I intend to continue to work with our state capital, with the leaders in Trenton on this issue. And um, uh, we need to do a better job. And certainly at the federal level, that was the intent of the uh, major legislation we passed on the floor of the House. Yeah, I guess the frustration is, and I'm going to repeat the first question again, and I apologize for doing that. But the frustration is we keep talking about the problem. We keep spending money on the problem, and the problem keeps getting worse. So we're obviously missing something. Mm -hmm. And, and I, look, I don't expect you to have a magic, magic potion mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. solve the problem. But do, do you have, after studying this, any idea what we're missing? I think we're missing the fact that there has been overprescription by the medical community Sometimes uh, these uh, opiates have been uh, pushed by the pharmaceutical industry and the fact that the American people should ask questions as to whether there is an alternative to an opiate uh, when uh, they are prescribed an opiate. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you spending time. Leonard Land, 7th District.
congressman in New Jersey. We're coming back right after this. Still to come on Jersey Matters, a lot of people want this dam to be torn down, but it's not that easy. We'll tell you what's holding it up when Jersey Matters continues.